All right, dividing whole numbers. So with whole numbers, when we divide them, you're not going to end up with a decimal. We're going to end up with is a remainder. So I'm going to teach this assuming you've already done something similar, but we'll still take our time. So with division, whenever you had a number, if you said 6 divided by 2 equals what? You know that we're looking at it as a reverse multiplication. We're, we're thinking of what was being multiplied to 2 to give us 6, which is 3. And that's how you want to look at here. You're going to have to multiply this. What we have is place values. You have hundreds. We have tens. And then you have ones. So we have to look at it in, in that way. We have to see, well, how many hundreds do we have to multiply by to get this number? How many tens do we have to multiply? And how many ones did we have to multiply to get this number? And honestly, it doesn't really matter. You can go in any order you want. And, and you may actually get ones, and then you have to go back and put some more ones in there and tens. But we're going to stick with the standard algorithm. And if you start from the left and work your way across, it's, that's what our standard algorithm is. So we go six. How many hundreds do you have to multiply to get to two? Well, there's none. You, you can't multiply. But if you did a hundred, it would be 600. There's not enough. So then you move on. You say, okay, well, let's look at it as tens. That is now 25 tens. So 6 times what? How many tens will give us 25? So 6 times what will give us 25? Or close to it. So we know 8, right? So 8 times 6 is 48. Way, way too big, right? What number is smaller? 6 times 4. 4 would give us 24. If you did 5, 5 times 6 would be 30. That's way too much because you can't. We went over. We don't want to go over. We want to get as close as possible without getting over. So that's 24. 25 minus 24 is 1. And then so we're done. It took four tens to get close to that. Bring it down and we get 1. So 6 times what gets you close to 11? Well, if you pick 2, we went over. So that means we have to use 1. And then 11 minus 6 is 5. This, this last number is called a remainder, so it must be less than 6. Otherwise, we still have more numbers that we can multiply into. We didn't go enough. And so the answer would be 41 remainder 6. And that's why I have these little vertical bars here, is to make sure that we do each place value, that we don't miss anything. So let's look at the next one. We have 12 now. So 12 into, 20, into 2 doesn't work. 12 into 25. The reason I'm putting a zero is just to hold a value. There's nothing there, but we want to make sure we, we don't miss anything. So 12 into 25 is 2. It's 24. And that gives us 1. Bring down the 3. 12 into 13 is 1, which gives us 12. So these are the 10,000s. It took two of them to get close to it. We needed 1,000. And now we're at 1. And this is left over. So now we have 10 hundreds. So 12 into 10, how many hundreds will give us 12? None. It's not going to happen. Because we need 12 and we have, we, we need a 10, but we already have 12. All right, so now we can just keep going. Bring everything down. Next number is a 2. OK. So now 12 times what gives you 102? Now that's a little large. So instead of sitting here playing and erasing player, you can just go off to the side and guess. We're going to guess 8. We're going to go big. That's 6. Carry the 1. It's 96. 12 times 9. That's 8. Carry the 1. 108. OK, so that's too big. We have to use 96, which is 8. And then 102 and 96. Up 4 would give us 100. Then another 2, so it's 6. 12 into 61, well we know 12 times 5 is 60, minus, and we get 1, and that's what we want. We want a remainder that is smaller than 12, which we're good. So our answer is 21,085 remainder 1. Now how do you know you're correct? Well, we multiply. So we're going to take the 21,085 and multiply it by 12. So that gives us 10. Oop, didn't carry the 1. 10, 16, carry the 1. That's 17, carry the 1. That's 0 plus 1 is 1. 2 and 4. Spacer, that's 5, 8, 0. I love multiplying by 1s. They're so nice. 1 and 2, 0, 
12, carry the 1, 8, 2, 5, 2. So we get 2, 5, 2, 8, 2, 0. Okay, I made a mistake. Can you see it right there? I drew my number not looking like an 8. Okay, let's do this again. 8. So we get 0, 2, carry the 1. It's 0, carry the 1. It's 3, 5, 2. Now let's go look at our number. And it's 23, 5, 2, 5, 3, 0, 2, 1. Well, we, got, we missed it by a 1. Why? Because there's that remainder. So you add on that remainder and you get 25, 3, 0, 2, 1. Checks out perfectly. So that's how you check.